presently, as my eyes grew accustomed to the light, details of the room within emerged slowly from the mist. Strange animals, statues and gold. Everywhere, the glint of gold. Next week, Christopher Frayling discovers the secrets of Tutankhamun and follows Howard Carter's ten-year struggle to clear the treasures from the tomb. There's a booklet based on this series covering Howard Carter's life and the discovery of the tomb. For a copy, please send a cheque for £3.95, payable to BBC Education, to Tutankhamun Guide, PO Box 7, London W3 6XJ. In the spring of 1800, a hot new act was entrancing Vienna. He played in a state of frenzy, knocking over candlesticks, delivering odd blows to listeners who dared get too close, and always left the piano in an absolutely unplayable condition. But as Beethoven trounced his rivals, fate was dealing him her cruelest blow. Your Beethoven is most unhappy. My sense of hearing has become very weak. Was it this tragedy that inspired his favorite symphony? The Secrets of the Eroica, explored in Discovering Beethoven, tomorrow at ten past eight on BBC Two. Alzheimer's Awareness Week, poet Tony Harrison dramatizes in song and verse the memories lost to this cruel condition. Thinking what they've all been makes Alzheimer's horrible, obscene. Screenplay, Black Daisies for the Bride, Wednesday at 9 on BBC Two. The exciting match from Centre Court between Chris Wilkinson and Stefan Edberg is highlighted on BBC One in 10 minutes. Robert Mitchum is a man from the past who walks back into the life of lawyer Gregory Peck, bringing with him an air of sinister malice. Tonight's film at 20 past midnight here on BBC Two is the chilling tale of sadistic revenge at Cape Fear. Conflict and passion first on BBC Two as separate lives force a new generation to accept change.